What's up, X-Wing players? Check your six. The Bad Wolf coming at you. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Vassal and start playing. Now, the first thing you want to do is get to the Vassal.org. An easy way of doing it is going to Google or any search engine and typing Vassal. Or you can type in your browser, vassal.org. Now this website is free, uh, it doesn't cost anything, and is fairly safe. It's actually used for a uh, ton of games. This is about every board game you can think of is on Vassal. It's pretty cool. I was told uh, Warhammer, 40k, and uh, some other games are on there. So first you need to download the actual Vassal program. Save file. Now it shouldn't take too long. You want to trash this program? Yes you do. Click on next on the startup wizard. Um, do the standard. Uh, there's no hidden uh, added programs. A lot of programs out there, they try to get you to install other stuff you don't want. Um, just go ahead and hit standard. Don't need to do custom. And that's it. Vassal has been installed. Now it gets a little trickier. You want to find the X-Wing modules. I'll go back to vassal.org, go to modules, and there's a couple ways you can go around about doing this. You can uh, go based on alphabet, it's under Star Wars, not X-Wing, or you can go over to the left and simply type in X-Wing and search. And it should be the first one that pops up. Now for the modules you're going to need to download every uh, expansion for each of the ships. Um, first you start with just a uh, X-Wing uh, miniature game and then you click on each individual ship for each expansion otherwise all you will have is the TIE Fighter and the X-Wing whatever comes in this in the course set so every ship you want to add to your inventory and you're better off um, where you have to start getting each and indi individual one of them you'll have to scroll down to get some of the older expansions they will still work just fine So at the bottom you gotta get TIE Fighter Advance, the X-Wing Expansion, TIE Expansion, A-Wing, Y-Wing. The rush should be at the top. And this is gonna take uh, more than a couple of minutes for all of them to download. Next you want to open Vassal, right click on X-Wing, click on add extensions. You're going to want to find your download folder, when you click on recent activity that should pop up in downloads and I'll list all your ship extensions. And You're going to have to do that for each individual one.
and it's going to take a little time to load up each expansion. When it's done, you are complete. You are ready to play. Okay, now left click, go to find game online. You can play offline if you want to practice maneuvers. And you should be prompted at the beginning to uh, enter a username. And on the right hand side you see the lobby. And you can click uh, the exclamation mark if you're looking for a game. X if you're uh, away from keyboard. To make a new game, uh, you create a new lobby, you type in new game. Uh, whatever you want to name it. And then people click on that folder to join your room. Let me go over to the side, click on File, New Game, and you're going to want to select Player 1. Uh, if, you, if you made the ta table, you should select Player 1. You have a choice between a blackboard what I prefer is the board with stars on it. Open map and you're going to want to zoom out and this is actually the whole table even the red section that is considered part of the table and the map is sitting on the table. So if you have options during the game you can put pieces either on the table or in your hand. To open your hand you click on your player number. You can expand that. And you can put game pieces into your hand. Um, to open pieces, uh, click on pieces and then you kinda have to move the boxes around to uh, get the name of the items to come out. And then in the bottom here is where you chat to people. People can join the room and observe and chat in this box here. And if you're in the main lobby, this is also the chat box. And here are all the individual pieces. You can use your left and right arrow key to move the pieces. All these pieces, uh, you, you really don't need to take them all out, but they're in there. Uh, use your left and right arrow key to adjust the pieces. One nice thing about Vassal is you can right click on your ship base and tell the movement that you want to do. Um, the movement pieces usually aren't needed unless you're you bounce into something. Uh, next, we pick a, a side, either Rebel or Imperial. You do have to move the boxes around a little bit to get the, all the names to show. And here we have a list of all the, the X wings, A wings, B wings, and so forth. And you go up here, and there's ships. There's all the ships. Then all the dials, and there's a range ruler for the rebels. Again, pull the box over to the right. Should see the the name box come out a little bit. Extend that, and then you'll have the list of all the imperials. If you notice, um, the information isn't all there. I think that's one of the prerequisites for uh, Vassal to have it on is uh, all the information is not included and you'll need to add that as you play. So, so owning the game is kind of required. I'm sure there's ways around it but most people who play X-Wing I'm sure 
own a set at home, so. So I'm gonna build a squad. Um, I pulled my buddy Boba Fett, pulled his card down, pulled Vader's, um, grab a fire spray ship, grab an advanced TIE fire ship, and if you notice there's no stats on there. Everything's at zero. There's a movement dial for the fire spray. And a movement dial for the advanced TIE fighter. And you can get a quick reference uh, for shortcuts to change the stats. For example, you can right click, um, choose a stat, and let's see. And we added attack power. Where you can select the item and then hit Alt A. And if you look at the quick reference that's in there, Alt A for attack power. Alt D for defense, Alt, Alt H for hull, and Alt S for shield. Alt P for pilot point or pilot skill. Go down to upgrades. And everything's listed in category. Uh, sl simply select the card you want, drag it down. Simple enough. Um, like I said, the other option, so you can actually put these cards on the table instead of your hand. A lot of people tend to uh, use hands for this game. And here we have the dice. Um, right click, attack or defense, and then choose how many dice. Right click, and then choose how many again. A lot of hits and a lot of evades there. Okay, now we're going to bring our ships out onto the board. For the dials, you select your maneuver in your hand. Um, you hit Alt R to hide your dial or to show up. So there I did Alt R. Uh, my opponent, when I put it on the board, all they can see is a fire spray icon on that dial. And when it is hidden, you'll see the little fire spray icon up there in the top left. And if you notice, when you do a movement on the board, you do get a warning in the chat channel. So it's kind of hard to cheat. And here we're going to show an example of a 5 forward with a movement piece versus just right clicking and pick it and then moving it by yourself. And it moves perfectly 5 inches forward. Uh, control F to look at your arcs. And there's your targeting target lock range and here are your damage cards there's one for rebels one for imperials if both people are the same side sometimes the you someone will take the other deck and this has been an intro to x-wing vassal Sit, woof, woof, sit. Bad wolf. <laughs>